Hi guys, I'm Sully, Elite Survival, and this is it, it is very best. I'm here in Papua New Guinea in the Western Province. Around me is nothing but remote villages. If you were to walk in any direction, it's going to take you seven days just to get to the nearest town. Now I've been out here for a month and I've been researching a documentary for the National Geographic channel. The skills that I teach you for Elite Survival in the woods in England are all relevant to be able to live in these remote woods out here in Papua New Guinea. As I say, I've been out here on my own. I've had to be self-reliant. I've only had a satellite phone and a uh, satellite tracker on me, and it's pretty much it. But this is what I do. One thing I promote biggest is elite survival. Have the confidence to go anywhere in the world. singing out to me, it's coming alive. Yeah, it's phenomenal. It's not just about green leaves and tall trees. Every single plant, or the majority of plants, has got a, a use for the Penan here. And um, it's in abundance. This is primary rainforest. It hasn't been touched here for thousands of years. And it's, it's pretty phenomenal. Hey there, folks. I made it to Delhi. It's one of the most busiest places I've ever seen in the world. Population of 20 million. A little bit like London with much more chaos. Southern Morocco, Oak Shebby. 20 past five in the afternoon. Sunset is inbound. I'm just walking to the top. It's absolutely beautiful here. I ain't got a clue where I am. I know I'm in the city. Okay guys, this is the desert. It's midday, sun is at its highest point. Around about 38 degrees Celsius. This is uh, this is Western Mongolia, and I'm with a uh, I'm with a guy that uses golden eagle to hunt. Throughout my life, I've gone in search for adventure. I've done many solo expeditions. I've taken schools away overseas and led numerous conservation projects. I've also set up several TV programs, such as Last Man Standing, Extreme Dreams, and Unbreakables, for the likes of the BBC and National Geographic Channel. In April 2010, with some trepidation, I entered the village of Megade of Papua New Guinea. I was the first Westerner to contact the tribe that had a history of cannibalism. Three months later, a presenter and TV crew retraced my footsteps, filming for their programme, Cannibal Island. Basically, we're in Tidkar's village and we're going to recreate the scene for when I came out here on the recce. Go into the hut, you're going to hear all the noise, and then you can meet and greet. It's really quite surreal that something I've come out here and done two months ago is now going to be seen on an international level. We're in an incredibly remote part of the world. The nearest town is over 100 miles away. People ask me, you know, how did you have the nerve to go and do it? Which well, really just having the confidence in your own abilities. And that is what I teach on my courses with at least survival. So if you fancy going to some far out place, however remote it may be, I promise you that I can train you up so you can have the confidence to go anywhere in the world. My details are now coming up on the screen. Please don't hesitate to get in touch. I'd love to hear from you and thanks very much for watching.